Good morning, and welcome to this edition of In Studio. I'm Ted Perch, your host, and this morning I am sitting with Silas Koff, who uh, most people will, would know, but he is an internationally regarded furniture maker uh, specializing in floral marketry, floral marketry, uh, which is studying in France. And uh, he has his own website, siluscotton.com, where you can see examples of his work. He has his out and has published a, a book about marketry that you can probably find around town. I've seen it available in several places. It's a marvelous read. All that being said, that's not why we're here. Because I, I discovered accidentally or coincidentally that Silas and I share uh, an interest or a passion, and that is the Aloha shirt or Hawaiian shirts, which, most of which we're wearing, and we're going to. Uh, show you some examples of various forms of the Hawaiian shirt. So, Silas, welcome. Yes, uh, pleasure to be here. Now, how did you first get involved with Aloha shirts? Uh, I got my first shirt about 20 years ago. I was visiting my mother in Florida, and uh, I got off the plane, and she said, what do you want to do while you're down here? And I thought, let's go shopping for a Hawaiian shirt. And uh, she got this look on her face like, I have no idea where to go. It wasn't in her uh, circle there. And uh, so she did make an inquiry or two, and we eventually ended up at a, a place called the Nomad Surf Shop. Oh, yeah. And uh, where everyone was age 20, and at the time I was 40, and she was 70. And uh, uh, so they had racks of, of the Aloha shirts, and she said, Well, I want to buy you one. And uh, okay, that's great. And I picked one up, and it was a white background with uh, scarlet macaws on it, and I picked up another one that was a black background with the bird of paradise flowers on it, oh, and yeah. I just couldn't decide between them, and I eventually... Bought both. No, eventually <laughs> went with the scarlet macaws, yeah. and uh, so I wore it happily for the rest of the weekend, and flew back here to Massachusetts in the cold and the snow, and about a week later, a package arrived, and my mother had gone back to the no man surf shop and gotten me the other shirt. So then it became something that we did. Every winter uh -huh. when I go down and visit her, we'd go out and, and shop for a shirt. Very cool. Now I'll tell you that I got into this because uh, one day I was idly leafing through a mail order catalog of uh, uh, apparel, sportswear kind of thing. And I turned the page and I saw this photo of this shirt. And I thought, there was something about it. It just kind of spoke to me through the print. I thought, I'm going to look that, I'm going to buy that. And I did. And this is the shirt. Uh, this is the first shirt I, I bought. It's a floral. It's got big fat flowers on it. And it's, it's, I love wearing it because it's just so soft. And it's got uh, like all of the Aloha shirt things. It's just got a, it just speaks to you. It's yep. got a, it's got a it's spirit to it. And after that, I was several months later, I was walking my dog. And I approached a friend of mine, or a man who was walking toward me, wearing a, uh, an Aloha shirt, a very Primo uh, floral shirt. I asked him, where did you get that? Well, there's this place on the internet, a place called uh, Shoe Sands in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And they sell all, all sorts of apparel. So I went on the net and found their website and went through their, their stock. They have Hawaiian shirts and Florida shirts and Cuban, you know, all the different, all the different kinds of uh, clothing that folks wear in the tropics. And I bought one from through there, and through the website, of course, they had all these links to different retailers, all of them in Hawaii. So I went, I started my march through Kamehameha and Paradise Found, and all of the different uh, outlets that, that you can find there. And as years went by, I bought two or three a year, and tried to be different in each one. I, I don't really duplicate too many things, but uh, so I, that's that's how I got started, and that's where and that's where it is today. Well, I, I failed to mention that one of the reasons that I wanted to get a uh, older shirt was because I, I am in the woodworking world, and woodworkers tend to be wearers of flannel and uh, gray <laughs> yeah, and yeah. blue. And I, I thought, you know, this is this is too drab. We're, right. we're a little more uh, exciting people than that. And so, especially uh, especially your your style of furniture, it has the marquetry and a lot of the floral things on it. And right, exactly. It stands out, and why not stand out? That's you right. got it. You got it. And I used to wear these shirts to work. I used to be director of a public library, and around Memorial Day, so as soon as it got consistently over 70 degrees, 
the work the suit would go, you know, the regular shirts would go, and I would wear these. Okay. I would wear these to shirt, a different one every day, and it kind of became my trademark. Uh, people would come in and uh, comment about the shirts and so forth. So it was a it was a talking point and a way to meet people. And so it, it's always been uh, always been something I, I enjoy doing. Well, I, I've actually got two sets of shirts. I've got I've got the uh, more the little cheaper cotton variety that are maybe a little more worn and whatnot that my wife will let me wear to work. And then I've got nicer rayon ones and silk ones like uh, like your shirt there that are only only for dress up. The rayon, the, the, there's a whole uh, there's a whole category of materials that these shirts are made out of. And I I enjoy I prefer the rayon because in the, in the summertime hot weather it helps stick to your skin. I think they're great. They, it's they a just great hang fabric. there and they're cool. Yep. And yep. Even if it's a black shirt like this, yep. it, it, it's it's refreshing to wear them and uh, or silk shirts as well. So. I have a few cotton ones, but I wear those too, but I prefer the rayon as a preferred fabric. Now, as we're talking about Hawaiian shirts, there is, a, there is an entire history of how, this, how these shirts came to be. Uh, it, it's, it's long and complicated, but it's, it's, a, it's a delightful uh, homegrown industry that came out of individual uh, mom and pop tailor shops who began tailoring shirts and began to notice that when the tourist trade uh, opened up in Hawaii in the 20s and the 30s, like yourself, people would get to Honolulu or the islands, and the first thing they would want to get is some kind of memento to show people back home that they had been to this exotic place halfway around the world, and it just happened that it happened upon these brightly designed colored shirts. And the industry, which is now the third largest export industry in Hawaii, began from there, and we were talking earlier in the show about someone that you have a connection to who was one of the designers of, of shirts. And there's a whole group of people and, and shops that, that, that created this out of the tourist industry. And it, it just keeps on going. And now there's, there's, there's shirts that are from California. In the 60s California surfing sort of became popular. And from, and from Florida as well. Yeah. And, uh, so it's, 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 and it really has a spiritual element to it. You can't wear these shirts without without being feeling at ease and relaxing and trying to have fun. And it, it also, when I wear them, a lot of times people will comment, oh, great shirt, man. You know, oh, that's a great shirt. Or I will say the same thing to people. I see shirts and say, oh, where'd you get that shirt? And it just signifies something about about your inner self and, and putting out some, some kind of vibe for people to enjoy. It's an enjoyable experience. Plus, I feel good wearing them. I, cool. I totally am with you, and uh, I, I think virtually every uh, mainland tourist who goes to Hawaii goes home. You know, at, least it, <laughs> at least one. At least one, At least one or two. And maybe they get hooked on, who knows. Well, I certainly did, and I hadn't been to Hawaii, but I certainly enjoy the, the design and the color and you know what how it makes me feel yeah. when I'm going on. It's just it's very simple. And talking about the history of the shirts, there is a book that, I'm ha that I have here. I'm not sure if you get it in the picture. But it's uh, it's called the Aloha shirt, and it's by Spirit of the Islands by a man named Dale Hope. And I'm sure you can find it in a bookstore or probably a library someplace. You can get it online. It's it's a very easy read of the whole history of the shirt, uh, the, the, the designers, how it all happened, uh, retailers, the whole industry in, in Hawaii, and uh, it's 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 a great read. And it's got numerous illustrations, beautiful pictures, beautiful pictures, color pictures of all different types of shirts, the, the, the classic original shirts and some that are being made today. And I leaf through this and I say, oh, I want to get that one. I want that one. But you know, it's, it's impossible unless you spend all your money on them and so forth. And you can't, I can't talk about Hawaiian shirts without mentioning, without mentioning uh, Duke Kahanamoku. 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 He was uh, true royalty and a charismatic man. He was a descendant of Kamehameha. He was a gold medal swimmer in the Olympics in 1912 and 1924. He invented surfing, invented the longboard surfboard, and is generally credited with inventing modern surfing now. He was a surf champion up until four or five years before he passed away. And he was just a true Hawaiian uh, icon and um, person. And he and he was a he was a tireless promoter of Hawaii and also of, of the shirt industry. And he would go around everywhere and, and promote them. And 
he was he was also a movie star, and he would be in movies with uh, Bing Crosby and people like that. Hollywood discovered the islands as well, and everyone began wearing the shirts, and, and and that's how some of it uh, became. Bing Crosby, Elvis Presley, uh, see him. Arthur Godfrey. Yeah, Arthur Godfrey. I remember yeah. as a kid watching Arthur Godfrey on, <coughs> on TV, wearing the shirts, playing his ukulele, and sometimes he would film the show in, in Hawaii and, and, and bring it back. And, uh, all those, there was, there's a whole bunch of people who, who took on the style and, and uh, made it what it is. So, that's how we got into it, and that's a brief part of the history of, of the Aloha shirt. Now, we both brought some samples of, from our collections, and the next portion of the show we're going to, we're going to look at them and describe them and get, get you to see the, 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 some of the variety of, of styles that you can get. So, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and we're going to uh, display some of our shirts and try and explain some of the designs and so forth. And Silas, you go first. All right, well, I'm going to pick one out here that's uh, kind of a classic here. We've got the, uh, the old Woody design here that, you know, sort of has that surf theme to it. Yes. And uh, uh, this is a uh, diamond head shirt, and uh, I, I love the uh, kind of pale look there, but this the green. bold blue and the and the green in there with the um, tropical uh, plants. So yes. it's a favorite of mine. That uh, and it it's a rayon hangs nicely. Yes, very handsome shirt. Yes, so indeed. Show me one of yours there. Okay, today. here's one of mine. Now, in the hist in the in the production of, Hawaii, of Aloha shirts, they weren't always floral. Sometimes they were pictures, and this depicts some history of uh, Hawaii. There's the ocean liners, uh, Honolulu uh, City Hall, as well as some of the flowers. And at the bottom there, there's an airplane, one of the amphibious inter-island uh, airplanes that flew around in the, in the 30s and 40s. And on the back is the same thing. Uh, picture, you know, vistas of Hawaii, uh, ukulele, some of the basic kind of icons that, that, are, that are known, and some of the flowers. And this is uh, Diamond Head as well, and it's a rayon. And once again, it's got some coconut buttons, which are, if you want to be approach being authentic, you have to get the coconut buttons, coconut shell buttons. And um, once again, it's rayon, and it's. I think that people can tell when you shake it like that how nicely it hangs. It just yeah, hangs on yeah, your shoulders yeah. and doesn't stick to your skin, and it's 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 cool to wear on a day like this when it's going to be 90 degrees, and you can wear it without being uncomfortable. All right, next. Now, some of the shirts that, that I think are, are kind of uh, particularly nice are the black background like your shirt yes, here. I, I agree. Yes. Here's another one with the parrots and the and tropical foliage. Yeah. This is parrots. Palm Bay made in Hawaii yes. and uh, again Rayon. This has got some pretty cool buttons not coconut. Oh but yeah. Uh, nice. Interesting. Yes. Decorative look there and uh, marvelous. Just, just a sort of classic uh, Hawaiian look here. Just just it's just marvelous. I love it. The nice pale greens the way that and the pink and so forth. It's, it's just great, and it, it and it goes to the the genius of the uh, fabric makers and, and the designers. And the designers. There's there's an entire history of that as well. How all this came to be, and uh, anyways, yes. Well, yeah, you know, relative to design because it's sort of my field. Relative yes, to, absolutely. Uh, furniture that there is. When you make fabric, there's a necessity of having a repeated pattern that, that recurs so yes. that as, a, as the uh, fabric goes through the roller, you can hit the same stuff over and over again. Right. And one thing that, one aspect of it is that uh, uh, you'll see the same parrots occurring, but they're far enough apart that um, uh, they don't have that obviously. One other thing to mention about shirts is that it has the, the nice thing is the matching pocket. And yes. that takes a fair amount of work to do that. I see it's on your shirt yeah. as well, probably not on mine because it's a little bit cheaper. But uh, the good shirts will have the pocket matching where they have to take that particular bit of fabric and... And, uh, and that's difficult to do. Sew it right on to the... Uh, it requires uh, more fabric sort of thing. Exactly. Kind of thing. But that, yes, you're right, that is a, that is a feature. Uh, now along with... Uh, this is this is one of the theme shirts. Now this is the dra dragon and the tiger. Uh, this is probably it's probably fabric probably comes from China or Japan. It was uh, this, this is the animal motif, uh, 
Uh, and it's, an, it's an Avanti, it's from Hawaii, and it's gray. No, this is silk. And once again, on the back, it's got the panels of the uh, dragon and uh, tiger, which is a theme in uh, Buddhist practice. And once again, it's, it's, it's silk, and it hangs so well, and, it's, and it's, uh, it says a lot. This is also a kind of interesting shirt because it has the vertical panels yes. there. That, that was a, uh, a style of, of fabric design, unlike yours or mine, where the design repeats. It's right. Simply the four panels and then the sleeves put together. Yeah. And this silk looks like it hangs nice. Ah, it's it's very, very nice. It's great. All right, next. So back to uh, uh, another uh, oh, this floral theme, like and this. this is really similar here with the hibiscus. Except it's the blue background. It's the same shirt, except it's the blue background. And uh, yeah, could be. Is it? Yeah, exactly it's, the same? it's the same design. Yeah, there we go. There we go. See, we're <laughs> how about that? I like the blue myself. I like the black. I somehow <laughs> or other, the, the black is something I I I, I go to because it it provide it. It allows the design to pop out, and and that's a kind of visually it works for me. I actually like the black myself, but I just had to say that because I got the blue one. Well, the blue one is fine. <laughs> I have I have blue ones too. Yeah. Now this is another uh, animal motif. This is koi fish in a waterfall, and there's uh, uh, flowers all around, and on the back it's the whole it's the whole design, and it's from Kamehameha, one of the original shirt makers, uh, Aloha shirts. This is a this is not an original shirt. They're very, very hard to come by, but this is a reproduction, which are you know easily available. And uh, Kamehameha has been in business, one of the original ones since the 30s, and they are recreate have been redoing some of their classic designs. So you can get a shirt that's uh, very close to being the original thing. Uh, this has coconut shell buttons, which is another local industry that became you know part of the whole Hawaiian shirt uh, story. And employed other Hawaiians making, you know, making uh, some parts of the industry. So that's the koi. All right, I've got right. A, a fairly unusual one here. Now this is the original shirts that were made were actually pretty plain, yes. with, with uh, without a whole lot of uh, like the floral designs on them. But gradually they grew into this. And this is a Tory Richard, who's another one of the uh, big yeah. designers in Hawaii. And on the back here. We've got the classic hula girl. Yes, look at that. Isn't that, Which, uh, isn't that marvelous? <laughs> I got a kick out of it. Very that. nicely. And that's a fair amount of effort to, you know, silk not have a repeated, that. yeah, silk screen the, uh, the design on there. Yeah, wow, that's nice. All right, we talked about, you know, I brought this one. I like, okay. I love wearing this shirt. <laughs> this is a Ryan Spooner uh, from Ryan McCullough and Ruth Spooner's shop in, in originally in Hawaii. It's got dancing flamingos on it, and it's the fluorescent colors. I suspect it's probably a Florida th shirt because I don't think there's flamingos in Hawaii. But it doesn't matter. It's it's the happiest piece of clothing that I own, and I just love wearing it because you have the flam lines of flamingos dancing back back and forth and and doing you know being being happy. And whenever I wear it, people look at it and say. Oh. <laughs> And I wear it because I just I just love wearing it. And it's a Ryan Spooner. It's from Hawaii. And uh, it does have the match. Yes, it has the matching pocket. Uh, I have not seen this ever before I bought it or afterwards because I looked. So it seems yeah. to be a, a one-run shirt. But I have it, and I and and it's one of my favorites. Uh, this is a kind of original design. I'm a baseball fan. Oh yeah. And this shirt has baseball hats from all of the uh, major league teams. Oh yeah. And the cactus for the Cactus League, and then uh, uh, the grape. Does that have grapefruit in uh, there? For the Grapefruit League, I guess not. It's all cacti, cactus. but uh, there's Boston. Yeah, we got New all York. the teams are in here. So uh, as a baseball fan, I, I like this. Yeah. This is, uh, it's a Spooner shirt as well. So obviously they uh, are trying they to branched tap out into a slightly into different all, market there. Right. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of these kinds of things, not just uh, sports, but there's a lot of them are devoted to uh, to uh, drinking. You know, the martini shirts and uh, got one so coming up, <laughs> so forth. So, if that's your thing, you can, you know, that, that, those are very popular too. Now, this is a Kamehameha. This is one of the early ones that I bought. It's just, a, it's just a lovely shirt. It's an anthurium, black anthurium, anthurium on black background, and uh, show again, the panel share the vertical panels. The vertical panels, panels nice on the side. And, uh, and 
the yolk here as well as and once again it's a Kamehameha. It's one of their original designs reproduced and uh, uh, it's rayon again. And once again it's, it's, it's a great shirt. It's, it, this is more formal. I wear these if I'm I wear this if I'm going out to a party or someplace that I have to I have to pretend to be a little all more civilized than I am. Suitable for yeah, they're all suitable, but they you, you, I wouldn't want to wear this out working out in the garden anywhere. Yeah. But this is this is one of those things to go to a concert or something and wear that. And uh, so that's that. Black and thirty. I actually did have the chance to go to Hawaii a, a few years ago, and uh, I was looking for, for a shirt that had a a lighter background, and I found this with the toucans on it. Yeah. And uh, paradise pocket. found, matching yeah. pocket, and uh, uh, it again hangs nicely. I just like the look of it, the bright uh, toucan bills and whatnot with the floral, uh, mm -hmm. or with the foliage in the background, the palm trees. It's a nice, That's nice it. shirt it for sure. That's it. makes a statement. Yeah. Yes. Now this is one that, that uh, is a, it's an Avanti, it's, it's a silk shirt. And it's the panels again, and it's uh, pineapples entwined in, in, in leaves, and it's not quite the, what they call pineapple tweed, which would be a, would be a closer design. But pineapples figure a lot of them have the designs have pineapples in it. That is a beautiful shirt. It's, it yes, is, it's very it's, lightweight. It's it's the it's the very soft. Well, it's it's kind, of, kind of subtle. I like a little bit of the the uh, aqua color in the yeah in it, the pineapples. And, and it's a soft and blue. It's once again it's one of that I, I kind of wear when I'm when I'm going out. But a little bit. It's a little bit more formal. Not exactly formal, but it's and it's got coconut buttons and a matching shirt. Nice. Matching yeah matching pocket. I'm sorry. And it's it's once again it's very nice to wear. Well, here is my. Formal wear. This is a, a Tommy Bahama shirt. Yeah. And uh, uh, got orchids on it. Yeah. With the gray background, and I like the, the uh, twill background behind that. It's a little bit oh, yeah, subtle, too. Very it's, subtle. Uh, Just to see uh, the stripes. Now, is this the same fabric that Cassandra Holden made your suit for? No, she no? did. She, it's uh, very similar. Uh, uh, similar in to, my, in to, my memory. to a degree, but I, I had a, a whole suit made in the Hawaiian fabric, and I, I should have uh, I should have worn it, but it's a little hot for this. Yeah. We actually went shopping down in uh, West Springfield and ended up getting an upholstery fabric because it took uh -huh. that much to uh, to do it. So I got the whole suit, and uh, all right, you'll have to come back another time. When, when I saw. Wear. I think it was at an Art Walk event some last year. I saw him wearing the, that suit, and I thought. Oh my God, He's, this guy's got a suit made of Hawaiian material. This is this is guy is so bold and cool. And it was only now that I finally caught up to that that, that uh, Cassandra's yep. website mentions that you were she made that for you. Correct. And she mentioned that you were a collector of Hawaiian shirts. And here we are. Yeah. All right. Here's a shirt that what's it, it's a dragon motif. It's just a dragon on a panel. Uh, it's a kamehameha, and it's uh, rayon. Uh, bamboo and swirls and, and the dragon on, on either side. Uh, I I wore this suit at my wedding. Uh, I can see why. A dragon and the red color red and a dragon are considered good luck in uh, Chinese mythology. And this was my uh, wedding suit. The co coconut buttons, a matching a matching pocket, and it's red. And so you have to sometimes you have to you have to be ready to kind of wear a red shirt somewhere it's it's, it's bold and it's bright and, but it's but it's a beautiful shirt with the dragons and i've got another uh simpler shirt that that uh oh yeah my wife will let me wear to work in and uh but it's got the tiki uh pattern there yeah. over the whole the whole surface of it yep. and here you can actually see the repeated theme as it runs down in the diagonals so that's oh, the yeah. way they've printed the fabric yeah. and uh that's a nice Simple it's a Kahala. Kahala, yeah. Classic. Uh, it almost re it's really kind of old world style because a lot of the, the original Hawaiian designs are the tapas cloth. And, and from there, uh, started with the simple geometric designs and figures and branch eventually branched out to what we've been showing you. But this is this is a very simple design and it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Now, the last one I brought is uh, it's a Bird of Paradise. Uh, it's a, it's Three panels in the back across the yoke. Uh, it's on black because it, for me, it, it helps the uh, the design to pop out. And it's the orange and the reds and the blue. And 
it's just a very it's just a very groovy shirt to wear. Nice shirt. It's a Paradise Found. It's rayon, and it's got this has got wood buttons, but it does have the matching matching pocket, and it's got the panels on both sides. And this is a fun shirt to wear anywhere. It's just it's just it's just a happy it's a happy thing to do. Now here's another another shirt with a woody theme there. Oh yeah. If you're gonna go surfing, you gotta have your woody. It's got the surfboards in there. Yeah. Black background, I like that. And uh, so this is it's a Beck Sport, uh, a rayon shirt. Yeah. And again, one that I'd be uh, happy to wear uh, to a relatively formal. Uh, Absolutely. Event. Yeah. Cool. Nice handsome shirt. And surfing be, being so much a part of Hawaiian culture and. It's, it fits right in. So you have so two I've left. Got, I've got two more here, and uh, this I like a lot. This is a really nice, uh, it's a Tori Richard also. She yeah. is a great designer of these shirts. Yeah. And uh, got the black background, matching pocket, uh, and I like the sort of coppery color in this on the black. I think they're pretty nice. That's that mother of shell, buttons. shell buttons. Shell yeah. buttons, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> very, very nice, very tasty. All right, so one more shirt just to get out of the uh, uh, mainstream a little bit. I got a chance to make a trip to Australia about a year or so ago, a little more than a year ago, and I was doing a teaching gig there, and uh, uh, my host had a Hawaiian-style shirt but designed in Australia, and I saw it and I thought, I need that. I need, I gotta is, have this. It is this shirt right here. <laughs> It is the Australian, well, we have to turn it around. Okay. It's the Australian beer tree shirt <laughs> with the cans of beer growing on the trees and the drunken ram and koala and kangaroo, and kangaroo and down, <laughs> down below there. And it actually says Australian beer tree shirt. Yeah. Had, uh, there, there's the, uh, I guess that's an ostrich <laughs> kangaroo drinking the beer. Advanced mambo. Yeah. And uh, so I think, uh, and it's the bl the bright blue. It's just, it's came just came back home and and had a picture of it and told told uh, wife and daughter about it and they went online and, and found this shirt yeah. in my size, and then I was having another friend that I whom whom I met in Australia come to visit last year in the winter, and we found he's a huge man and we found him a double X in the same design. So right here in this garden in the middle of the winter. We both wear, wore our shirts and uh, uh, sent the, the picture back to the fellow in Australia. Yeah, there you go. Introduced this shirt to us. That's wonderful. That's a star. That's a whole <laughs> <laughs> a bold that's, shirt. That's great. Well, that's uh, that's what we brought to display, and I hope we got a good cross section of the designs that are available. You can go online these days. The internet makes it easy. You can tap into Hawaiian shirts or whatever, or the manufacturers Kamehameha. Uh, Avanti Paradise Found, and you'll find a host of, of links that, that you can go online and, and and if you're really lucky, you can find them in a used clothing store. But that's well, there's that too. Actually, tougher. actually, I have found several in used clothing stores. Uh, one up here in Northampton several years ago, and uh, if you go to a place like Brimfield, sometimes you'll see vendors that have Hawaiian shirts. You have to pick through them, uh, but always, always get what speaks to you. Uh, it, and it doesn't matter what the design is or anything else. If if something about that design speaks to you, buy it and wear it with pride because it's 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 a it's a spiritual thing, and it reflects not only the culture of Hawaii but it reflects something about yourself, and also connects to people who are who are you are interacting with. And they see they see Silas wearing this shirt, and they know he's got to be. An amiable guy. There you, you go. You cannot wear this and and be that serious. And be grumpy. Yep. And be grumpy and that serious. So, thank you, Silas, for for Happy. taking the time All right. and and showing us your shirts. My pleasure, Ted. And, and uh, my parting words would be: relax, have fun, and rest easy. And aloha. Aloha. <laughs> aloha. <laughs> thank you.
Kelly Inon Nayaino. 